I'd like to call to order the commissioner's meeting for Tuesday, September 17th, 2024, it being 1 p.m. I would ask that you please join me in a moment of silent prayer. If you'd please join and stand me, play the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Executive session announcement. There were no executive sessions. Public comment. Who's K? Hi, my name is Jody Sassna. I live at 816 East Crawford Avenue, and I'm here today as the president of the board of Explore Altoona. I feel that there are some points that should be addressed. First, hotel tax is not paid by Blair County taxpayers. They are not paying this money. The bed tax is a hotel occupancy fee that is paid by tourists when they stay at our local hotels. I also wish to state that we feel that the commissioner's representative has not been enough at our meetings of Explore Altoona to make a factual or informed decision about the future of Explore Altoona. Out of 29 meetings since the beginning of 2020, Twice the meeting has been attended in person, and five times it has been attended partially by a Zoom or via phone. Explore Altoona had requested a meeting with the commissioners to discuss misinformation we were hearing. I spoke with Commissioner Kessling by phone. We had a very nice exchange of emails, and I thought we were finding a time to meet. I last received an email from Commissioner Kessling about this meeting, um, and he said he would discuss it with the commissioners and get back with me. That was September 10th, and I have not heard back yet. Explore Altoona was not even informed that we were on today's agenda for this meeting. We found out from an external person who wanted to let us know. Explore Altoona's board that represents every facet of tourism from the hoteliers to the arts, attractions, trails, restaurants, museums, outdoor recreation, etc and business people, from bankers to construction, make up this board. We also have a staff with the expertise for tourism marketing and who also know when they need to follow the best practices of the industry. We feel that as a long-standing successful organization, we have not received the respect that we deserve, nor have we been given the opportunity to utilize the expertise we have already mentioned nor the expertise of the hotels or attractions who both generate and count on the results from how this money is spent. Thank you. Good afternoon, County Commissioners. My name is Amy Markle. I am the Director of Marketing and Events for Del Grosso's Park. I'm here today representing the park on behalf of the Del Grosso family as one of the larger tourism destination in Blair County. We've been a member of Explore Altoona and its previous predecessor, the Allegheny Mountains Convention and Visitors Bureau, since its inception. We're here to show our support for the importance of supporting and retaining our destination marketing organization and the vital role it plays in growth and sustainability of our local community. As you know and you've heard many times, tourism is the number two industry in the state and number two right here at home in Blair County. Explore Altoona, the county's DMO, is not just a promotional entity, it is an engine that drives tourism. The organization creates comprehensive marketing strategies to draw visitors to our county, bringing in revenue that supports local businesses, restaurants, hotels, and attractions. From promoting local attractions to supporting restaurants and hotels, the influx of visitors attracted by our DMO translates into real income for our residents. 
Removing or reducing this organization would severely weaken our local economy and harm visitors and harm the businesses that depend on that visitor traffic. Thank you for taking time to allow me to share the importance of Explore Altoona. Good afternoon. My name is Jeff Cipriani, and I'm the general manager of the Hampton Inn here in Altoona for the past 26 years, and I've been in the industry for 30. Um, I'm here today to speak concerning the decertification of Explore Altoona. When thinking of a DMO, they most certainly are involved in leisure travel segment. When you think of decertifying, decertifying a DMO as a hotelier, your mind jumps to the impact this would have on leisure travel to the hotel. In the year ending 2023, the hotels generated $30 million in total revenues. Without a dedicated marketing agency focusing on leisure travel, marketing the hotels would stand to lose a great deal of room revenue. And going further, this would not affect only the hotels in the market, but it becomes a trickle-down effect. Uh, with less revenues, less travelers to the market, the grocery stores, shopping centers, restaurants, and other local businesses will also see their share of income drop precipitously. We need to also focus on the line-level employees whose livelihood depends on the marketing of Altoona and the Blair County region. Obviously, with less revenues, uh, we would probably have to start layoffs and things like that. We need to also focus on, or uh, without consistent marketing effort, I am speaking of digital media, print advertising, and all means of marketing the area. All businesses in this market will be directly impacted. Earlier this past month, I spearheaded a hotelier letter that I sent out to the hoteliers in the market. Many of the hoteliers filled out this form stating their appreciation of all things that Explore Altoona has done for their properties over the 15 years in terms of marketing in all facets. We sent these forms to the commissioners via certified mail. There was no response to these letters from the commissioners. The Explore Altoona president also sent out a letter to the commissioners requesting a meeting between the EA and commissioners. There was no response back. In deciding to try and decertify Explore Altoona, the commissioners did not share this information with anybody in the industry here in Altoona. They did not contact the owners of the hotels, management groups, or anyone in the market when deciding to start decertification efforts. I also point out that the one commissioner had ex officio status with Explore Altoona Board of Directors, going back to 2020. As my associate Jody Cessna already said, five times this was attended, um, especially during COVID, over a Zoom call. One time the commissioner attended and did not attend again. So since 2020, there have been five attempts to connect with, or three attempts to connect during COVID via Zoom, and two attempts in person meeting with commissioners. In closing, this decision has not been thought through and will result in the loss of revenues for many businesses in our community, including the hotels. This will be directly impact the front desk staff, the bad boy at Martin's, not to mention ownership groups of the hotels that have put in millions of their hard-earned monies over the years to renovate the hotels when needed. It is clearly a very bad idea to certify Explore Altoona, as all the knowledge base with EA's executive director, executive board members, and by the way, our esteemed members of the community and various businesses will no longer be tapped into. It has been mentioned that the commissioners would like to use the monies from decertifying EA on trail development. I can say with certainty during my 26 years at this hotel in Altoona, I've never run across anybody from out of state that said they came here for trails. Trails are beautiful, but unfortunately they do not generate the revenues the area needs to keep the business community in Altoona thriving. There's also been talk of using EA monies for infrastructure spending on brick and mortar repairs. This is not consistent at all to act a team law that states hotel tax should be used for marketing purposes only. And I'll go further, stating that the DMO should receive all the hotel tax as well. Once again, the EA Board of Directors reached out to commissioners with an offer to, for a grant for trail development. There again was no response from the commissioners. I thank all of you for your attention. Good afternoon. 
My name is Mark Ickes. I'm the Executive Director of Explore Altoona in my position for over 14 years. I am here today to speak to Explore Altoona's track record. Explore Altoona's staff and board leadership, both past and present, stand on an extremely strong track record of driving additional visitation and travel spending into Blair County's business community. Act 18 of 2016, as Mr. Cipriani mentioned, stipulates the use of hotel tax for specific tourism marketing purposes. Purposes. According to Pennsylvania DCED's most recent economic impact of travel and tourism report, there has been a 37% increase in travel spending over the past decade. The Blair County business community benefited from $371 million in direct visitor spending, which is a 14% increase over the previous year and less than 1% below. 2019's pre-pandemic all-time high of $374 million. In order to replace that level of visitor spending, each household in Blair County would need to spend an additional $7,520 each year out of its household budget. According to the nation's leader, in attraction, destination, and entertainment research, H2R market research, during a 2022 brand perception study Explore Altoona conducted with them, Jill Renner, president, stated, double down on what you are doing currently. Altoona is a small but mighty destination poised for immense growth within its 2022 completion of that brand perception study. According to Smith Travel Research, the leading global provider of hotel stats and analytics, Blair County has seen a 15.3% increase in total hotel revenue and a 2% increase in total hotel occupancy since 2019, pre-pandemic. These increases surpass both the respective average increases for seven comparative Pennsylvania markets as well as the respective percentage for the state of Pennsylvania in its entirety. All of these results have been accomplished within a period consisting only of three full years of increased marketing budgets in the midst of a pandemic since the passage of Act 18. The decision being discussed by the Board of Commissioners today is being made without any strategic analysis and without any respect to seeking input from the tourism community. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? Good afternoon. My name is Patrick Shore. I'm the Director of Partnership Development for Explore Altoona. Prior, I was on the board of Explore Altoona. At the same time, I was marketing and sales for three hotels in the Altoona area. Prior, I worked for state government. And prior, I worked for WTAJ here in Altoona. For the past 25 years, I have made Blair County my home. I am passionate about this place that we are showing off and encouraging visitors to come and see what we have to offer. As the Director of Partnership Development, it is my job and the job of Explore Altoona, more so than anything else, is to represent our partners and the vast variety of experiences that we have here in Blair County. We cannot pin Blair County on any one particular item. We have many natural resources here. They have always been a part of Altoona, Explore Altoona's marketing. We have parks. We have the arts. We have partners here that believe in Explore Altoona. We ask that you believe in Explore Altoona as well as we are working to represent Blair County and show Blair County for the gem that it is and a true premier tourist destination. I appreciate your consideration and I thank you for listening to us and considering our partners and the community. Thank you. Donna Gordy, uh, 803 Kelsey Lane, Duncansville, uh, president of the board of Arts Altoona.
Um, I strongly encourage you to continue with Explore Altoona as the destination marketing organization for Blair County. Uh, they have a tremendously experienced staff and board members. Uh, as the data uh, that Mark just uh, shared with you shows, they have a very strong relationship with nonprofit organizations uh, such as Arts Altoona, such as Fort Roberto, um, Altoona Community Theater, uh, SAMA, uh, uh, others that are represented here, working with all of us with the marketing grants to market events that we may have that draw people in uh, from out of the area and providing tremendous guidance on how to go about that with the greatest effect. They offer tools to us and resources uh, that we would not otherwise have available to us. Uh, they are very strategic and out of area marketing that they do, uh, reaching out into the, the periphery uh, of Blair County, a two or three hour um, drive distance is uh, certainly very important and effective. They have recently developed a very strong um, well, they've had a long-standing relationship with the hotels, but recently worked with the hotels on creating a very uh, effective method to reach out between the uh, event uh, facilities that are trying to draw in outside business through requests for proposals uh, to check out interest of the various hotel properties, the availability of rooms, and their commitment to make those uh, available. And uh, they're relationship within the industry in Pennsylvania and beyond uh, is very significantly viewed with, with a very positive uh, attitude. So Blair County stands out uh, because of the work that Explore Altoona does. So thank you for your consideration. Uh, and just just to throw in my two cents and my my typical request when you get to item F double I which is the uh, the decertification of the Convention and Visitors Bureau I, I'd like to hear some uh, I'd like to hear some discussion and some some details as to why this got onto the agenda. I haven't heard anything. There's been no public discussion about this item, and I don't know where it came from, but if there's a time to discuss it, today seems to be the day. Okay. Do you read your paper? Yes. Okay. Any further public comment? We'd like to thank all of you for your interest and thank you for being here. Generally speaking, at commissioners meeting, there's hardly anyone here. So this is very nice to see the input. Uh, commissioner's comments. I do not have anything. I don't have any either. Okay, <clears throat> having none, would you please run us through the consent agenda? Sure. Um, they are resolution number 437-2024 for the payments of the three warrants in item A. They are the ratification of the three warrants list in item B. Budget transfers in items C, D, E, and F. They are the bridge project of the Old Mill, Bru Old Mill Run Bridge Replacement Project in item G. Employments, resignations, and terminations, status changes in items H, I, J, and K. Okay, thank you. I make a motion to approve the consent adjustment. May I have a second? I'll second that. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Staff reports and special business. Uh, Judy Rosser. Good afternoon, commissioners. Uh, before you on the agenda today is the um, acceptance of the probation with restrictive conditions grant through Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency. This was presented, uh, I believe, in the April or May agenda that we submitted the grant. This is a yearly grant. There's no match or anything for the county, and it does support our specialty courts. This is, uh, they have awarded the grant to us. This is your acceptance of that grant. Okay, I'll make, a, I'll make a motion to approve the Punishment, Probation, and Restrictive Conditions Grant with PCCD and Blair uh, with the amount listed 
from July 1st, 2024 through and including June 30th, 2025. May I have a second? I'll second that. Any comments or questions? Thank you so hard so for your hard work on getting yeah. this every year for us. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Election, Sarah. Uh, the first item, um, requesting approval to ratify the termination of the contract with Election IQ effective May 8th, uh, 2024. I'll make a motion to approve, ratify the termination uh, with the contract with elective Election IQ effective May 8th, 2024. May I have a second? Second. And just so, uh, can you give a little bit of background as to why we're sure. requesting this? Um, they have been printing our ballots for the last... I believe, for elections, um, and we have run into delivery delays um, delivering the ballots to our office. Um, the last time they delivered them, I believe, within 11 days of the election, um, and we also had printing errors um, of the ballot for certain precincts. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Uh, any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, and a second item, um, requesting approval of the quote received between the County of Blair on behalf of the Blair County Board of Elections and William Penn Printing to print the November 5th, 2024 presidential election ballots in the total amount of $22,238.10. I'll make a motion to approve the quote received for the County of Blair and William Penn Printing uh, November 5th, 2024. May I have a second? Second. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Children and youth. Let's see anyone here? Any? Well, I'll just make a. I'll present for children and youth requesting approval for the submission of Act 148 fourth quarter expenditure report to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania for actual expenditures and revenues for the period of April 1st, 2024 through and including June 30th, 2024. I'll move. Did you move or did you? I did. Okay, I will uh, make the motion that we approve the submission of the Act 148 fourth quarter expenditure report to the Commonwealth. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Jerry. Okay. Um, the Department of Emergency Services is requesting um, signature uh, for the commissioners on the certification for the county and the city of Altoona for their hazard materials response team. Um, the agreement is already in place. We just have to sign the certification um, that gets returned back to Pima um, for verification. So it's basically just an administrative paperwork detail um, for Pima, and that agreement is already in place uh, with the City of Altoona and the county, and it's effective through December of 2025. I'll make a motion to approve the agreement between the County of Blair and the City of Altoona, the Pima uh, Emergency Management Directive for Certified Hazardous Material Response Teams. May I have a second? I'll second that. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Tax claim, Sue. Good afternoon. Um, I'm here to request the approval of four judicial sale title search bring down um, services agreements, which also includes include after hour access to the courthouse um, for the four law firms of Ray Ray Lashinsky, Mears and Adams, Sullivan Law Offices, and Forrest Stoken, Hoff, Kramansky, and Noggle um, to complete the, the title searches after our upset sale tomorrow. I'll make a motion to approve the agreement for the four judicial sale title search bring down services between the County of Blair and the law offices identified. May I have a second? Second. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. You take the first one. Sure. 
Requesting approval for the reimbursement agreement R2409008 between the County of Blair and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania acting through the Department of Transportation for Bridge 81 and authorizing the Chief Clerk, myself, to sign in the agreement. I'll make a motion to approve the reimbursement agreement between the County of Blair and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Department of Transportation. May I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 F2, requesting the decertification of the Convention and Visitors Bureau of Blair County, DBA, Explore Altoona, as a recognized tourism and promotion agency, certify a new tourism and promotion agency, and direct Sherry Sosie, Chief Clerk, to distribute the draft resolution to the governing bodies of the cities, boroughs, townships within the county, plan for decertification of the current TPA and the certification of a new TPA. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. May I have a second? I'll second. All those, any comments or questions? I do have, I just would like to say um, I received um, a legal opinion from our solicitor earlier today that I need to abstain on um, this item. So I will be abstaining in the vote. Um, I do share some of the um, concerns that we heard from members of the public regarding um, the communication surrounding this, in particular, um, the request for a meeting, which has not occurred, because I do believe that that meeting should have occurred, and I wish that it had. Um, but that's kind of all of the comments I have at this time. I'm going to read a written statement prepared for this. First of all, it, everyone seems to think there's not going to be a TPA and all tourism and promotion is going to stop, and that's clearly not true at all. The TPA was created by the county and is funded almost entirely by bed tax. This year, the TPA will receive almost $1 million in bed tax funding. Our decision to move to decertify the TPA is purely a fundamental change to not only market our current assets, such as Del Grosso's Park, El Tuna Curve, etc., it also focused on its asset development. We have spent the past nine months discussing this and trying to find a path forward that does not negatively impact the taxpayers, yet enables us to develop, promote, and create additional new assets. We believe in doing this. We will create more interest in Blair County, which will bring more people to our community who will stay in our motels, eat in our restaurants, and shop in our local communities. We have talked in length regarding the development of trails. We held a public meeting which over 60 people attended telling the commissioners we need to do something. We have neighboring counties who have continued to foster and build, promote trails and ask us, Blair County, when are you going to join us? Let's make this a regional place for people to come and stay. For the past nine months, this has been discussed in the Chambers Transportation Committee I chair the Transportation Trail Subcommittee. It has also been discussed in length in that uh, uh, committee, and members of the local TPA sit on all of these committees. Recently, I received numerous calls regarding the TPA, and the commissioners decided it would be best to have a meeting with all the parties who had questions to dispel any rumors or false claims. Due to scheduling conflict with the TPA, this was never held nor the TPA provided a suitable date even when asked to do so. The TPA then sent numerous certified letters to the commissioners requesting a meeting only with the members of the TPA. It was communicated to the TPA this could not occur because this was something that the commissioners were going to vote on. So we can't, we can't meet with you like that. We want to be clear. The action is no way punitive nor does this have anything to do with the Explore El Tuna board members or its staff. We, as well as many members of this community, believe this to be a positive move to the community and to further build the assets that will promote growth in this county. Sorry. Okay. All those in favor of decertification of the TPA, um, um, 
that can you think? Signify yeah. by saying aye. Yeah. Say, vote. Yeah. Signify by saying aye. 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 I abstain. Oh, one abstention. Any old business. There's no old business. I'll make a motion to adjourn. May I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The next Board of Commissioners meeting will be held Tuesday, September 24th at 1 p.m. Again, thank you for your interest.